I am Dr. T. Sandal Murugan, Associate Professor and Head, Department of Information Technology, Kakatiya Institute of Technology and Science, Surangal. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about operators, conditional operators and logical operators in C language. In this video lecture, this is the week 2, lecture 2, classroom discussion topic 5. Okay. So in this classroom discussion topic, we are going to discuss about conditional and logical operators. This is the course outcome. After completion of this lecture, student will be able to develop the C program using conditional and logical operators. We are going to discuss about what are the conditional operators, what are the logical operators, how we can use this operator in C programming. Those things we will discuss in this video lecture. So after this video lecture, you can write the program with conditional and logical operators. Okay. So first one, conditional operator. So conditional operator, we can say this is ternary operator also. So ternary means normally in each operator, normally arithmetic operator, if example plus is there, we need two operands. Okay. So two operands is there. So normally we are using this is the operator. <coughs> So, but in conditional operator, how we can write the conditional operator? It's a kind of if-else statement. So, we are not discussed if-else statement, but in C language, there is if-else statement condition is there. If we have to check the condition, if condition is true, this part will work, or if condition is fails, then this part will work, else part. Okay. So, that we are going to write using ternary operator or conditional operators. How it will be there? The example you see here, if power is there, if power is there, this is the condition. You are checking the condition. If power is there, switch on. Okay. If power is not there, switch off. So this is the condition. So example in real time, we, we will check if we have to check the condition, if power is there or not. If power is there, we have to switch on the uh, fan or light, whatever it may be. If there is no power means no need to switch off, uh, switch off, like switch off the switch. So same, this will be used for kind of people statements. How we can write it? So see here, this is Normally, we can say that ternary operator is question mark colon operator. This is the operator. So, how we can use this operator, this conditional operator? First one, variable, okay, equal to assignment operator. Then, expression one, you can write any expression. First expression, if the expression is correct, that is true, question mark, okay. If it is true, then expression two will be executed. If the expression is failure, expression 1 is getting false, that means expression 3 will be executed. Okay. So, how we can write that? Example, variable will be there. Condition you have to write. Then if condition is true, expression 2 will work. If condition is false, expression 3 will work. Okay. So, you can write like this also. You will check the condition. If condition is true, you can assign that value to variable. Okay, the expression value, you can calculate the expression, that value will be assigned to this variable. If condition is false, you can execute this expression, that value assigned to variable. Okay, you see here, so this is the variable, but first it will execute. Okay, is the condition true, true means expression 2 will execute. Okay, then it will return the resultant value to the variable. So, in case if condition is fail, this condition is false, okay. So, this condition is false means it will go to expression 3 and execute this expression, then the result will be stored in the variable. Like this, we can use the conditional operators, okay. So, how we can see that, you just to see how we can write it. So, if else statement, I told you no. So, if we can write the first expression, whatever we are discussed in the previous Conditional operator, same, expression 1. So, if expression 1 is there means 
you have to execute the expression to assign the value to variables else for if condition is fails execute the expression 3 then value will be assigned to variable so this is we can use if else statement for the previous conditional statement so conditional operator we are saying ternary operator also why we are saying ternary means ternary means 3 okay so 3 operand will be used so that's why we are saying this is ternary operator okay <clears throat> so see here this is one of the examples you have to see m value is 5 n value is 4 so i am going to use the ternary operator what i am going to use so if i have to check the condition first condition then question mark if condition is true before colon it will work colon i am using here okay so this first statement will work okay so if condition is fails the second statement is work okay so now m equal to 5 n equal to 4 so 5 greater than 4 so what is that condition is true true means this statement will work print up m is greater than n that is 5 greater than 4 okay that we are printing it so simple okay so if else statement that will be replaced by conditional operators so this you can write some expression also okay so x equal to equal to y okay so you can write question mark x will be assigned x equal to 10 r colon if x equal to equal to y means x value equal to 10 r if condition is false means x equal to 15 like that also i can write it this is one expression this is one expression okay so we can use ternary symbol using question mark and colon so now you see here this is simple method but little confusion okay so once you are see that clearly then you can easily understand okay so you must be follow the brackets also so we know that precedence how operator precedence will work means first preference will give for brackets okay so we have to consider the brackets so here in case we want to identify the year the given year is leap year or not okay so this program may be useful for writing finding the leap year okay so what we have to do first what they are saying the condition for finding the leap year is first first one we have to take the modulus value with four the answer is 0 as well as we have to take modulus value with 100. 100 it is not equal to 0 then these are leap year. Otherwise it will be modulus 4 as well as modulus 400. Both are equal to 0 then it is leap year. Okay it is then this condition we have to keep then we will check how it is working once again you just see that so first condition okay so you see first we are checking this conditional operator for this which is the uh, true part so this part is the true part okay so this part is true part in the true part itself this is the true part for this particular thing for in true part itself we have to check again for this purpose we will check these conditions again ternary conditions okay once again so now here one more condition is there here one more condition is there three ternary operators it is used here one here one here one okay so what we have to do we have to split up the part. So for this ternary operator, this is the first ternary operator we are using. So till that, this point is the true part. This point is the false part. Okay, true part, false part. If it is equal to equal to zero, you can perform this operation. Okay, true. Why? Because these are the brackets they are used and after that colon it came. The last statement is for this first condition. 
so if first condition fail means it is not equal to zero means simply it will print not leap year it is not uh, taking modulus value there is no remainder is zero means simply we can say this is a not a leap year so in case once it is true so first they are calculated year value so example 19 thousand is there we have to take modulus 4 what is the remainder value when we are taking modulus it is zero or not you have to check okay so what is the value 485 remainder is zero okay so remainder is zero we are identified remainder is zero so then it will comes for true part so in this program, which is the true part, this up to this true part. So then true part you will enter. Once you are entered true part, again, what will happen? Another condition will be there. So it will check with second condition. First condition, true. Then second condition, we have to check. So here, modulus 100 not equal to 0. If it is not equal to 0, what will happen? Again, how to print the last condition okay why because this true part also again condition came so for that this is the false part okay so if it is not equal to zero if condition satisfied true part we have to check if condition fails then it will come if not equal to zero true or if it is equal to zero means again we have to write it it is not a leap year what is the meaning of that first year modulus 4 equal to equal to 0 and here modulus 100 not equal to 0 then it is leap year okay if this condition fails this condition true this condition fails means again it is not a leap year this condition over so in case if it is true then what it will do both condition true means it is leap year otherwise you have to check again what is the condition you have to check divided by 400 again it is equal to equal to 0 then you can simply type it this is the leap year otherwise it is not leap year so how they are written first one condition that is true part is there then colon this is a false part is there so here what they are doing one more condition is there they are checking one condition question mark true part is there and then close part is there okay so that is first condition again what happened here also again they are using ternary operator one condition if it is true or not it is true part and then this false part like so this many condition first condition second condition and then third condition so three condition they are used in this statement so now we are going to discuss about logical operations so logical operation means we have to perform logical and logical or logical not these are the basic operations so logical xr also will be there we can represent this symbol okay cap symbol <clears throat> so what where we are using it we have to check and operation and means so normally this uh, logical operations we know the truth tables so we have to follow the truth tables so how we can follow the truth tables if example and statement is there first we will say not statement they are saying not statement means it is opposite to true statement that is p should be false okay if it is false what you have to do so example here you see this statement in this statement what they are written a student can enroll in my program if they are not enrolled yet still now if they are not dead then they have to enroll so here not operation will be used for that purpose we have to use the logical not okay <clears throat> so how they, they are used now if here not operation used this exclamatory symbol used for not operation so here this answer will be false then it have to do this okay if already enrolled if it is true means no need to enroll this statement will not work okay so now logical r operations how logical r will be work r truth tables you, we know that you know so 
for not what is the truth table zero means one one means zero okay so the value will be zero means the opposite value is one okay the value is one means you will take opposite value zero this is the truth table for logical not operation logical or operation or operation may be like addition okay so just remind it for that purpose i'm saying addition operation how we can perform so if two operands we need so two condition may be this condition and this condition both are false means it is false okay if any one condition is true then it is true okay so zero 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 one if this condition true also true so in case this condition true this condition fails then it is one both the condition true also true so this is it's like addition operation 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 1 so like this so we have to check the condition how we can check if the first condition yeah either one condition should be satisfied today equal to sunday or today equal to saturday if it may be it is a holiday so any one condition should be satisfied it may be the saturday it may be the sunday okay so not both uh, today is Sunday as well as Saturday, it is failure. Condition is failure. Okay. So, both the condition, if any one of the condition is uh, true, if any one of the condition false, then both the condition true also okay. That is not a problem. If both the statements are false, then we will go for zero, true, false value. Okay. That means it not print this value. So, example here. Okay. This is like logical or operation okay so now logical and operation we know the truth table for and okay so and means like multiplication we just remain for that purpose i'm saying okay multiplication so how we can say zero zero if we are multiplied zero means zero okay zero one zero and one multiply zero one and zero if you are multiplying zero because zero is there if both the condition is true, then only it will true. If any one of the condition is failed, then it is failed. Okay. So what he is saying that here, skill equal to CC and experience is greater than equal to 2, then he is a handsome guy. So this both the condition is true. Okay. Then only he is handsome guy. If he is example, he have less than two year experience but he have skill but he is not a handsome guy okay so he is have more experience but not in the c language then that is also not a handsome guy he don't know c language he have not more than two years experience that is also false false so it is false it won't work okay so when the both the condition is true then only the condition is working that is logical and and operations Okay, so see this program, we are using this. So this logical and our operation, it will return the zero or one value. Okay, zero and one value. If it is false means it will return zero. If it is true means it will return one. Okay, so don't forget it. So here, if they are given P value and Q value. Okay, P equal to five, Q equal to 20. So if P is five, then q is 20 okay so in this what is the meaning r operation what we have to do in r operation both the condition false then only false so here there is no false false means zero it is true some values are there no then one then this condition one so both are true so true means what it will do it will print this line okay line 5 is the condition is true okay so next it will check p and q multiplication again p that is 5 and 20 there is no zero okay so here also no zero here also no zero when we are multiplication also we will get one okay so one and one so as per truth table one and one is one so true only so it will print condition true then we will change the value p equal to 0 q equal to 10 so now we have to check okay so what is the value p value is 0 and q value 
If and means it is like multiplication. So when we are using zero, it is zero. Okay. Zero, not zero means it is true. Okay. Not zero means it is one. If it is one, it will print this line. Clear what I'm saying? Don't confuse it. P and Q equal to zero only. We are calculating P and Q. P value zero and Q value 10. So while we are doing this and operation, it is answer is zero only because it's like multiplication. But zero, not zero means that is one. One means that is true. If condition true means it will print. Okay, so that will print. Here, what happened? Again, P and Q, there is no not operation. P value zero and Q value 10, the answer is zero. Answer is zero, zero means it won't print. Okay, it won't print. So if not print means what we have to do, else part will work. Else part is line eight condition is not true. Okay, this will be work. This is logical operations. So we are discussed about the conditional operators, conditional operator using question mark and colon. So it is called like ternary operators also. So there is one expression will be there, another expression here, another expression here. This expression is true means it will work. This expression is false means this will work. Logical operators, we know that and operators, R operators and not operators. So these decrement operators we are discussing in the last video itself. So now we have to revisit that lecture outcome. Having completed the discussion on conditional and logical operators in C, now students should be able to develop the C program using conditional and logical operators. So now you can use this operator and to perform the C programming. Okay. So example, develop the C program to find maximum of given three numbers using conditional operators. Okay. So conditional operator means question mark and this. So you can use this number. How we can find the maximum of given number? A, B, C is there means first you will take A value. A is greater than B or we have to check. Okay. This condition true means what you have to do? Again, you have to compare with A greater than C. Okay. A greater than C. So if it is true means A is greater. This condition is fails means again, this condition is fails means B greater than C you have to check. This condition true means B is greater. Both the condition is fails means C is greater. So instead of question mark, then you have to check this question mark. This is print A colon. Then false part you have to check this condition. Then here question mark, true condition this one, false condition after the C, print C. So like this you can use this uh, Conditional operator to perform the operations. Next one is check the functions of logical operators. So we know that and are not are the logical operators. Using this operators, you must be know to perform these operations. Okay. So even if you have any doubt, please read the textbook in chapter 4 operators and expressions as well as you can refer weekly tutorial sheet for getting more clarity. Thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.